happening today. We are spotlighting a life-saving partnership helping animals in our community. The Nashville Pet Project gets underway and we're asking you to help the Pet Community Center and Friends of Metro Animal Care and Control. We can tell you that News 2's Nikki Burdine is going to join us live tonight for Metro Animal Care and Control with how these organizations, they're literally saving lives. Good to see you, Nikki. Hey guys, yeah, these two organizations are working together to save countless lives of animals here in Davidson County, and they have so many important programs, but one of the programs I want to talk about right now at Metro Animal Care Control is the Emergency Medical Fund, and oftentimes animal control officers are called out to really horrific stories of abuse, and years ago, those animals would have no hope. Now, thanks to the Emergency Medical Fund, they do have a second chance at life. Last year, one of the most horrific and heartbreaking stories of abuse came to life, and it was the story of Primrose, who now has a happy ending thanks to the Emergency Medical Fund. So I was sitting in my office, and one of my officers came in and told me that a dog had come in badly abused, um, that she was set on fire. And I was just in shock immediately. Um, so I go into the intake room, and I already started to cry. It's hard not to cry when hearing Primrose's story. Perhaps one of the most heartbreaking cases in Nashville, an innocent dog intentionally set on fire. And I saw her and her face was just swollen. And there, you could see like there was life in her though. She had a couple little tail thumps when I came into the room and greeted her. Um, and I just got my hand on her chest and she just cried. And I knew that there was still a dog in there that she just was so hungry for love and she just needed attention she needed care but this isn't about her abuse this is about her recovery and her second chance at life that came thanks to the emergency medical fund and danielle the night we brought her home she just cried all night so i actually slept on the kitchen floor with her and we wrapped up each other in a blanket so that she was able to calm down. After multiple surgeries, antibiotics, and round-the-clock care, Primrose was starting to make progress. She stayed with Danielle in her home for 136 days. We slowly started to see her personality shine through, and it was just a no-brainer. You know, the first time she started doing zoomies in my house, and the first time she ran in the yard with my dogs, the first time I gave her a giant pig ear as a tree. That's when Danielle knew it was time for Primrose to find her forever home. She was a really hard one to say goodbye to. Um, we just had so much of our love in her. So it was almost like a part of us was leaving. She was adopted into the perfect family where all she knows now is love and happiness. She's amazing. She, they spoil her rotten. Um, they take her on many trips. She goes to the beach. She, she has a park. They live right across the street from this beautiful park, so they go there every day. She's fully thriving. You can see it in her face that she's just the happiest little dog ever. And if that is not the best reason to donate to the Nashville Pet Project, I don't know what is. We all remember the story of Primrose. It broke our hearts, but seeing her being so happy and healthy and thriving and with her forever family being loved just the way she should be is the best happy ending to this story. So if you want to help dogs just like Primrose and Rocky, who you just saw run behind me, to live happy and healthy lives, all you have to do is go to NashvillePetProject.org and make a donation right there. We can save so many lives. Back to you guys. Thank you so much, Nikki. Yeah, this is a good reminder that so many animals out there need yep. our help. Metro Animal Care and Control is a great place, though, if you don't have a pet yet and you're looking to adopt one. And we need your help to reach our $60,000 goal. Go to WKRN.com and click on the link to join the Nashville Pet Project and learn more about the good work at the Pet Community Center and Metro Animal Care and Control.